टुडे वी विल टेक अ अनदर वेरी फेमस वर्ड व्हिच इज हैमर्शिया यूज्ड बाय एरिस्टोटल इन रिगार्ड टू हिज डेफिनेशन ऑफ ट्रेजेडी नाउ बिफोर वी प्रोसीड एज टू व्हाट एरिस्टोटल मींस बाय द टर्म हैमर्शिया let us remember that according to aristotle a tragic hero is not depraved or vicious but he is also not perfect and his misfortune is brought upon him by some fault of his own so the word which aristotle uses is hamersia it is a greek word and the root meaning of hamersia is missing the mark means the hero he falls or he faces a downfall not because of the act of some outside agency or any vice or depravity but because of hamersia or miscalculation on his part it can also be called as an error of judgment hamersha is not a moral failing and hence it is unfortunate that it has been translated rather loosely as a tragic flaw aristotle himself distinguishes hamersha from moral failing and makes it quite clear that he means by it some error of judgment he writes that the cause of the hero's downfall must lie not in depravity but in some error or hamersha on his part so thus we can say that hamersha is an error or miscalculation but the error may arise in three ways it may arise from ignorance of some material fact or circumstances secondly it may also be an error arising from hasty or careless view of the special case thirdly it may be an error which is voluntarily committed but not deliberate as in the acts committed in anger or passion so some critics interpret hamersia actively and say that the hero has a tendency to err created by lack of knowledge and he may commit a series of errors they further say that the tendency to err characterizes the hero from the beginning it is a character trait and that at the crisis of the play it is complemented by the recognition scene that is an agnosis which is sudden change from ignorance to knowledge hamersha is a word which admits of various shades and meaning and hence it has been differently interpreted by different critics however all serious modern aristotelians agreed that hamersha is not moral imperfection though it may be allied with moral faults that it is an error of judgment whether arising from ignorance of some material circumstance or from rashness and impulsiveness of temper or from some
passion it may even be a character trait for the hero may have a tendency to commit errors of judgment he may commit not one but a series of errors this last conclusion is borne out by the play oedipus tyrannus to which aristotle refers again and again and which may be taken to be his ideal in this play the life of the hero is a chain of errors and the most fatal of all being his marriage with his mother if king oedipus is aristotle's ideal hero we can say his conception of hamersia includes all the three meanings mentioned above it means missing the mark or miscalculation or an error of judgment on the part of the hero hamersia is an error or series of errors without morally culpable or not committed by an otherwise noble person and these errors derive him to his doom the tragic irony lies in the fact that the hero may err innocently unknowingly without any evil intention at all yet he is doomed no less than those who are depraved and sin consciously he has hamersia he commits error or errors and as a result his very virtues hurry him up to his ruin othello in the modern drama and oedipus in the ancient are the two best examples of ruin brought by characters noble indeed but not without defects acting in the dark and it seem for the best so his conception of hamersia includes all these three things mentioned and in english it cannot be covered by a single term so hamersia means either an error of judgment or missing the mark or miscalculation on the part of the hero